What's up Freedom Fighters? Today we're going to be looking at the final primary weapon that you can get from the Cutting Edge Premium Warbon. Let's check it out if it's worth your medal, super credits, and your time. Let's get right to it. So the weapon that we're going to be talking about is the Arc-12 Blitzer. It is a shotgun that blasts a wide burst of high voltage electricity between units. Uh, it has damage of 250. It has unlimited ammo, a recoil of 60, and a fire rate of 30. Okay, so quick gun review of the Blitzer. Uh, it has unlimited ammo, no flashlight, no other firing mode, but it's basically a heavy shotgun as it fires so slow, but hits hard. It fires multiple bolts in front, so basically it spreads to other enemies in front of you if they're close enough, as you can see there. And if it's only one target, all the bolts fire or hit that single target. Against the automatons, I am confused as to how you can use this effectively. Uh, it one-shots rank and file units and deals kinda decent damage to the Zerkers. Against the Devastators, it can also take it down, maybe after a few bolts. But against the Striders, it doesn't do much against them. As you can see here, I'm just knocking it back and I had to close the gap really hard just to hit the Rider. Against Hulks, it doesn't do anything. You know, maybe except letting it know that you're fresh meat. So far, my experience with this weapon against the bots has been a miss. Against the Terminids, it one-shots all the small rank and file units. The mediums can be dealt with relative ease. Hive guards pose no problem. And the broods get one or two shot in the face if they get close enough. However, against the spewers, it feels like I'm not doing any significant damage. And against the damn stalkers, it's such a pain since if you miss like one shot, you'll get punished because of its slow fire rate. By the time you cocked your next shot, you already have been tongue slapped into the new age. And against the chargers and bile titans, it pretty much doesn't do anything. There's really not much to say about this weapon. It's basically the arc thrower's younger cousin as it, you know, it spreads its bolts in front of you. Other than the arc thrower that chains around. Um... That's it. So let me know in the comments down below what you think. Is it worth or not? Till next time. And oh, keep spreading freedom, Helldiver.